here's a great question from Kelly, and I'm going to put this to Caroline and Tom, perhaps. Are we as prepared as we could be for a major earthquake event in New Zealand? Tom, shall I have the first stab and then pass over? Great. Well, firstly, kia ora koutou everyone and thanks for joining us tonight. And I really want to thank Kate and Alice for organising this event. It's really awesome for us to be able to take part in something like this and have, have a face to face with people who are interested to know more about this stuff. So it's a great question. And I suppose, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like how long is a piece of string in terms of how prepared we need to, to be. Um, I think it's fair to say that over the last 10 years, we've become a lot better prepared for a whole range of natural um, event, natural disasters, I suppose, mainly because of our experience of the Canterbury earthquake sequence. So prior to that, we'd had in 1987, the Edgecombe earthquake. Prior to that, it was back in 1968, our, our, our next most notable earthquake. And so several decades had gone by without a major urban earthquake in New Zealand. And so it's fair to say that we were quite complacent as a nation when it comes to earthquake preparedness. So after 2010, of course, we had real experience of this and it really brought into the limelight the need for us to get better prepared for earthquakes. And so a whole host of initiatives have really kicked off in terms of um, reducing our disaster risk and building our response capability for future events. And actually, this is where AF8 and EC Lab really came from. We were given funding to support this kind of work. And um, over the last five years, from AF8's perspective, we've worked closely with emergency managers and all of the partner agencies involved in responding to a disaster um, to really uh, improve the way that we would work and coordinate as a team to deal with something like this. And so um, as it's, I think there's always more we can do as individuals in our own homes to get better prepared, but at a, a sort of a high level, at a societal level, a lot of work's going on uh, to build our collective resilience to some, some future events. Um, and, but of course, there's always more we can do. So Tom, anything to add? <laughs> oh, that, was, that was fabulous, Caroline. And, and I just wanted to um, echo what you've said about Kate and Alice. Thank you so much for, for organizing this fantastic event. Um, I guess some perspectives that, that are worth um, considering from the last 10 years, as, as Caroline um, mentioned, is uh, th there's always more that we can be doing. And um, I guess, you know, living here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, it's a fact of life that we're, we're going to have earthquakes. It's, it's part of the special part of, of, of where we live in the world. So being prepared for these, these things is, um, being, is uh, part of being a New Zealander. Um, and I, I guess some of the big challenges that we face as a society is thinking about you know, earthquake prone buildings. How do we ensure that they are remediated to a point that they're, they're safe or that we, we think they'll be as safe as possible without um, causing undue harm and, and challenges for, for owners and, and occupiers. And, and there's some really challenging aspects there. And at a household level, knowing what, what can we do to make sure that our, our uh, family or whanau are, are, are safe, you know, making sure our chimneys are well secured, hot water cylinders um, well secured, um, some of the, the um, I'm just looking at my bookshelf which we've just moved into a new house in, here in Christchurch and the first thing we did was secure all the big heavy furniture to the to the walls because we've, we've had some tough lessons over the last uh, 10 years. So it's things like that which you know we can all do our part and the more that we all pull together um, the better off we'll be as a, as a society. Oh, and um, so cool to hear, to hear, Tom, that you've done your fix fast, don't forget, as well. 